Hello and welcome back. In this video, you will learn how to add filtering and sorting functionality to a Power App Gallery. I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating dynamic filters and sorting options to enhance your app's usability and allow users to easily find and organize data within the gallery. So let's get started. I have created an issues gallery here. If you haven't seen the video how I've created this nice looking gallery, click on the Power BI UI playlist showing on the right hand side. You will see all the videos related to the UI I've created. So, so let me play this. So from the left hand menu, we have this hamburger icon. If I click on it, you can see the menu. I have also created a separate video for this one. So if you navigate to the Power App, UI playlist, you will see the videos related to the smart navigation and also related to this nice looking gallery as well. All right, so first thing first, we need to create a filter on the priority column, for example. So let me readjust this gallery. I will move this a little bit down and then I will select this header and then I will move that down as well so we can add some filter option on the top from, from the top menu under insert i will click on that and i will select input type button and i will place that button somewhere here I'll, i will rename this button to say all and then i can set an icon for this button to apps list icon so we are listing all the items i can do either left align or center align okay this way we will create some more button as well so for each priority filter option will create buttons so when someone click on let's say priority low it will filter out and only show the low priority stuff the first thing we need to create a variable on app start so if i go to app start properties on start property and i will create a new variable and then if i click on this button and on select property of this button i'm setting that priority filter variable to all now i will copy this button for the other priority options so i will right click on the button and click on copy and then i will control v to paste so that's a low priority button i will change this in a bit and then if i paste again this will be high and then if i paste again this is normal and then I will create one more for the critical priority option all right so I will change the name here and then I will change the icon will match the icon of the priority item itself so it is arrowed down for the low and then we'll select normal so we'll change the text for the button to normal this is the normal priority so I will change the icon to the circle and then we will have a high priority so i will change the text to high and then change the icon to arrow up and then finally we have critical priority option so for that we will change the title text to critical and change the icon to dismiss circle so that's the icon for critical i will select all these and then i will click on this align drop down and then i will say align top it will set everyone to the same Y position. Okay, so we have created all the buttons now. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So this will look a lot more better. There we go. So we got all our buttons there. Let, let me create a rectangle just to cover this white space. Now for each of this button on select, we need to change the variable value. So for low, instead of all, we'll say low for the normal we'll just change it to normal for high change it to high and for critical we'll change it to critical let's add a rectangle to cover this white space so i will search for rectangle click on that and then i will put this rectangle just here then what i will do is from the left hand menu all those buttons which we have created i will group them i will select them and right click on it 
and then create a group. Now we have created a group and then I can say this group reorder bring to front and then rectangle I can say reorder send backward. Now we can see that the buttons are appearing fine. We cannot see the shape of the button because the color of the rectangle and button is same. So let's change the rectangle fill color. So I will select the fill property of the rectangle and instead of primary we can change it. Now let's add a code so this gallery filter works based on the button we click and for that I need to select the gallery and then on the items property instead of just showing the issue tracker list I need to replace it with something like this. Alright so what I'm saying is that if the priority filter which is the variable value is all then show everything from the issue tracker list otherwise filter based on the priority value selected and then filter the options and then only show the priority which is selected by the end user. So this should work now. I need to run app on start so run on start and then if I play this and if I select on low priority I can see only the item with the low priority option and then if I click on normal it will show me only the normal one and then if I click on high or critical so it is showing only the options with the priority critical if I go back and click on all it will show me everything with all the priorities so the filter option is working fine next let's work out how to do sorting so for example let's say we want to sort on the reported date newest to oldest or oldest to newest to sort the reported date I'll click on insert and then I will add a button again I will change the button text to none so I will make it empty but I will add an icon for this button to arrow sort icon and then I will make it a bit smaller and then I will just move it for the reporting date I will move it towards the right and then I will move the icon next to it I will make this icon a bit more smaller all right so we have the reported date icon created so when we click on it it sort ascending and then when we click again it will sort descending order so first thing we need to go to the app on start and add another variable sort order variable and then we can set it to either ascending or descending as a default next we will select this button and then for on select property i will write a code something like this so I would say if sort order variable is ascending set the sort order variable descending otherwise set the sort order variable ascending so every time you click it does the opposite all right so we have set the variable based on that button click now we need to update the gallery so it react to that ascending and descending sorting order so I will select the gallery and then instead of this code where we are just doing the filtering I will remove this and add the other code all right so what I'm saying is if the priority filter is set to all then sort by column report dated if sort order is ascending then to ascending otherwise to descending sort order and if priority filter option is selected any other property other than all then filter on that priority value and also make sure that the date order is accordingly showing either in ascending or descending order. So I'm doing the filter and then checking the variable for sort order ascending or descent and then showing the data in gallery according. So this way this gallery will be sorted based on the priority and then it will show the date reported in ascending or descending order whenever we click the button okay so let's test this before I test this I need to click on app and run on start so it can recognize the variable now if I play this app I can click on all and it's already showing that everything now you can see the reported date is in ascending order if I click again on it now it is showing in the descending order 
and then if I click again it is showing a sending order if I click on low for example it is showing me only the low priority data in sending order and if I click on the reported date it will show only the low priority data in the descending order you can make the UI a little better what I've done is I've created a label within here and I've added some rectangles just to cover this area to show that this is a filter by priority options so you can enhance your UI by doing these things you can also create a drop down for each of the filter options um, if you have multiple filter for example status assigned to a priority then the better option will be to create drop down for those filter for this application scope I want to just show you one filter option and so I've created these buttons thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope this helped you understand how to add filtering and sorting to your power app gallery if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more power app tips and tutorials don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss any update if you have any question or need further assistance drop a comment below i will be happy to help keep exploring and building amazing apps with power apps see you in the next video